been waiting like two months? No, longer than that. Paige, this is so not about you. It's my magic of eye. It's here. In a little baggie with a little symbol. Uh, this is like black canvas, basically. Okay, and more shoes. More shoes. Ooh. Moons. Ooh, immediately. Immediately. Yes. Ladies, I feel like what is happening? All right, moons. I already feel super informed. Ginormous sticker. That's exciting. And let's take this off. Let's look at it. This is the fanciest planner I have ever had in my life. Um, I pre ordered this. I've been watching Magic of Eye pop up on my Instagram for you. Oh my god, oh, that feels so divine. Ooh, I do not use that word lightly. Ooh, no wonder the th the the gold ends up like rubbing off. It's so rubbable. Oh, <gasps> oh, what happened to this? Hold on, I have not been recording from the top. Shoot. Okay, so let's open that again. So that's beautiful. Let's take out the quote. Um, look at that back. There's portal. There's portal. I remember. Oh, my kid did. That's so bad. Um, how to use the planner. Calendar features. Personal astrological birth chart. I'm excited to write that in there so, like, I don't have to keep, um, like going to find it in the other journal. Do, 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 do. How to use calendar. Optimum times. Life guide. There's so much stuff. Like on the times that I am wanting. Oh, reference for the astrological stuff. Um, the investment here is that it's not just going to be um, the planner. It's that it has all of this stuff at the beginning. So it's, I really plan to like read this. I'm a, I read a lot of books because I listen to audio and I'm a speed reader. But um, I, oh, menstrual cycle. Um... This is fun. Moon phase signs. Uh, so, astro mythology. It's like a book. It's like a book that I'll be reading and learning and, um, you know, deep diving into. It's gonna. It's like a workbook within my planner. Really, uh, this is really going to take me down. Um, A new, you know, new pondering. What I would like action steps. 
Yeah, so it's got some, like at the beginning of the year, you set up some goals, some intentions. Page is loving the bag that came in. For wealth and social. Um, you know, keep, them, keep all of that stuff close. Inspiration. Uh, I've never added any of that stuff at the beginning of my journals. This is a bird's eye view. This is a future log, basically. Um, it's very pretty. Like, art-wise, it's really pretty. I don't know enough about any of these things to, kn to you know, right off the bat, say if it's wrong or not. I know there's been some real issues with um, journals like this where the information is wrong, which I really, really hope that it's not. So uh, really quickly, just basically, I guess, at, these are the weeks. The weeks look like this, real simple. And then you've got kind of the monthly, um, you know, stats page. And then you've got some journaling for the next month. So that's how it's going to lay out. This is the perfect amount of space for what I journal already. For what I plan, not journal, but plan. Um, I might even be getting more. I've got what? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So um, Am I upset that Saturday and Sunday is kind of cut up like that? A little bit, but you know, it's a, I, I was I was willing to give something up. Um, yeah, we'll see how this ends up working out. I'm sure it's gonna work out fine. I think my tracker will go at the beginning, like a bird's eye view, like, you know, I can track all my pills like in a year view, <laughs> as opposed to tracking it like weekly or monthly. Well, currently I do it weekly, so. Um, we could just do it in the year's eye view. Anyways, this journal, this planner, the situation, I'm really, really excited. It's so pretty. Um, it was an investment in me, in my, in my uh, learning, and also in just, you know, this uh, 2025 marks my ninth year planning. And, I mean, I've been... Excuse, excuse me, card. Um, it didn't work out the way I thought it was just going to work out. But that's the view. And so I've got a pretty good track record of keeping journals um, for the year. So, uh, yeah, we're going to add to that. I just put my LPs right here. Uh, but these are my journals. And... Oh, I really love to hear it. That's my very first bullet journal. And these are my, when I was a young girl. When I was a young warthog. So we're going to leave that because it's trying to get the dogs. Um, thank you so much for joining me. She is here. It's been a minute since I announced that I had pre-ordered this, by the way. Um, she's also pretty thick. Uh, much, well, of course, much thicker than Astology, even once I add my usual ephemera in there. But, uh, yeah, there's quite a difference, even in heft, but I'm happy. Look how cute it is in my hand. Um, I've got to do a pen test because I really want to use my fountain pen in there. Uh, my Twisby with my walnut ink got a lot of walnut ink and it's not waterproof so it's not great for like art journaling or illustrative journaling or arting so um yeah I've got to definitely use that in the planner and since this is definitely not going to be any kind of water or artsy like maybe a sticker maybe an ephemera if it has something to do with what's already happening in there, but I'm very set in my junk journal ways 
in my sketchbook and my other stuff. So this is like legit boring planner tracker.